This is Anusha. It's late, it's dark, and somehow it feels appropriate for this voice note that I'm recording. Um, I usually don't make it a practice to comment about current events, but um, this time I thought maybe at least what I can offer is a recommended reading. I felt it's very appropriate for what's happening right now in Minneapolis. It's a powerful piece of writing by Dr. King, the letters from the Birmingham jail. Just as Socrates felt that it was necessary to create tension in the mind so that individuals could rise from the bondage of myth and half truth to the unfettered realm of creative analysis and objective appraisal, so must we see the need to non violence gadflies to create the kind of tension in society that will help men rise from dark depth of prejudice and racism to majestic heights of understanding and brotherhood. What I love about this letter is that it's not trying to quiet down your voice or your passion, but reminding you that you cannot let yourself stoop low to those destructive emotions of anger and violence. Dr. King had studied Gandhi and he knew an eye for an eye will leave the whole world blind. I wish we had more leaders like Dr. King, like Gandhi, like Mandela, because it's a complex world we live in. They were not perfect. They were human beings like us, but they were compassionate human beings. And they could help us understand the value of human life. They could teach us that no matter where we're born, no matter what's our physiology or who we worship in our heart or how we love, we have rights as human beings and those rights must be respected. We're just one human race living together on our home planet, planet Earth. No one knows that better than I. When I looked at our world from space, I saw that and I felt that and it became my truth. In some ways, when I look around and look at what's happening here in the United States, I'm scared and it scares me because I've been through this before. I was young, I was in Iran, it was a country known for its intellectuals and scientists Women around me could wear whatever they wanted to and they were working on their career plans and education plans. And then I woke up the next day and we had to wear hijab and, and it was mandatory. And um, if we resisted or, you know, said anything that was against the belief system, then, you know, you would disappear, you would be put in jail. And it all happened so quickly. It was a blink of an eye. And I'm scared. I'm scared when I look around and see what's happening. But I have hope. I know there are lots of people with that passion in their heart who understand violence is not the way, but at the same time, they're not going to stay quiet and they're going to light those small candles and they will bring light to the darkness and I will celebrate that day.